morning, everybody. Welcome back to My Class of Fords. I'm Gordon Best. Tonight, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna waste no time. I'm gonna show you what I've been up to for the last few days, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing tonight. If you remember from the last episode, we got uh, this piece kind of put in. It's all tacked in place. We stripped some paint off. Um, last couple days, I took the trunk lid off, cleaned out the trunk, uh, took all the interior out, took the tail lights out and the marker lights out. Um, on this side, you didn't see me do it, but I did the same thing I did on the other side. I got the door skin tacked in place and I got the interior part done all in here. I got this framework done. If you remember from this side. So now I feel that the car is, you know, welded together pretty well. I'm thinking with this framework here, holding the wheel arch, the back panel to the pillar, the sills are welded back together. Um, I'm really thinking that it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, what we're up to tonight, I've cut out a cardboard template here. So as you see, I've, I've uh, kind of just pieced it together. Now I have a little piece there and a little piece here. It's kind of hard to cut and put in there. So I just kind of cut it up best I could. I'll tape this together and we'll cut it out of steel. This is what it looked like before the cardboard's on it. So as you see, what I'm up to, I want to tie this and this into my framework, into my pillar. I want to lock all this together. And then I want to weld it down to this as well. So I'm thinking with that locked in, with this locked in, I've essentially welded the pillar all the way down to the back of the car. I've locked in the side. I really don't think it's gonna go really anywhere. I think we're pretty safe. We're out of the we're out of the woods, we'll say. Once this is done back here, I'm gonna do a quick little frame up of the roof tonight. We'll have a quick look at that, see uh, kind of what's involved with it, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I got my metal cut. I cleaned this up a little bit just to make it a little more true. And this is going to fit in just like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to eye it up so that this comes around and flattens out. And then we'll just trim this to suit later. So what I'm looking at, I'm looking at tacking this where it's flush, probably to about here. And then maybe we'll just pry this up a little bit, tack it all to the hump, push it back down. And I think we'll be good. All right, so what I'm looking at here, like I said, I, I just want this to come around and I want it to be flush and I want it to have a slight angle. Not much, just enough that when the water comes down, it'll run off, not run into the car. So it doesn't need to be much, but I also want it to have a good flow with the body too. said before this is 14 gauge this piece here and I'm really thinking that's going to stiffen this and this up this will all become one with the car and then we're going to build a window frame out of one by one HSS or one by one square two and I'm thinking that's going to make it really rigid or that's the whole anyway This patch fits really tight. Might be a little bit difficult to make it fit. I think it's hitting on a little bit of weld right there. We'll just give that a brush. All right, that's a little bit better. We can pull the patch up. 
So again, what I'm looking at, I just want to tack it where it becomes flush. We'll just pull it up a little bit at a time. And you want to be, you know, as fussy as you can with this stage because it's just going to make your body work that much easier later on. If you slap these, paint these patches in, it's going to be a lot harder to do your body work. So as you see, it's pretty tight back here. I may have to just grind this a little tiny bit with the sanding pad in order to get it up. That's kind of what it's appearing like. We'll go ahead and take a little bit off. We can always take it off pretty quick. That's why I always do them tight. And I'm just marking from here to here is where it needs to be. And I'm just gonna color in the edge just a little bit and that'll let me know how much I'm taking off. I'm roughly marking out about a 30 second. And then I'll take my grinder and sand that until that chalk line's gone. Snug. Looks like it's back here. Looks like it'll come up. Looks like it'll come up here and not here. So again, we're just going to mark it. Probably could take a little bit more off. Look there. We'll do the same thing I just did. We'll just take Get a very little bit off. All right, so as you see now, it fits nice and it's tight. So we'll just keep working it as we go. And it's contoured this way as well as it's coming up and going back down. So it's a little bit challenging. And I think we found some lead by the looks of things. The way that's festering up right there, that's definitely lead. All right, so I'm gonna wanna tack this up here now. As it's starting to pull up on the fender, and I don't want it to do that. I'm just going to give it a couple small tacks. I always do really small tacks in case we need to cut and remove it. I'm just pulling this up again so that it's flush. Okay, so the hard part's going to be getting this to bend down without kink in the fender. So we might have to think that through 
I think I'll give it a few more tacks here. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. A little bit of paint still in there. Probably should have wire brushed that off. Um, I find the drill works pretty good for that. Just a nice little wire brush on it. You can get into those tight little places. Okay. So we want to be careful bending this because we don't want it to pull on the fender in any spot. So we may even have to put a little bit of heat on this. We really don't want to. The fender's pretty rigid, it's, it doesn't look like it's moving. So it looks like we can just fold this down. We may, I think we may have to cut it. And the whole time I'm doing this, this is locking the side of this car together. My quarter panel, the back of my body here, my pillar, the new door piece I put in, and remember that's got that little frame in there, all that, and the big piece of frame I welded here. This is really tying this together now. And then we'll do a window frame, and we'll take tubing and go right across here, and that'll become all part of the car. Okay, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking about putting a score in this in a couple spots. We'll score it with a zip cut so it'll bend. It's pretty heavy stuff. This stuff here is about 330 seconds thick. And the reason I'm using it, like I said before, I want to make this as strong as I can. But I got a feeling that we're going to have to cut this. So I'm looking at this and it's coming up this way really nice. And it's also starting to come up this way. And I'm picturing the high point at about here and here. So I'm thinking we want to kind of score this across here and fold it down. I'm just marking this here a little bit. What I did, I scored that so that this will kind of curve down for me. Um, we'll put a little bit of weld back in it. And this is catching on my fender a little bit. I don't want that. So we want to shave this off. Okay, so I got four little score marks in here. Just did that with a zip cut to make it bend easier. And we'll go ahead and weld that back up. I know it's, well, it's one way of doing it. Um, now that I know that, you know, I can bend the other one first before putting it in. I didn't want to have to cut all this back out to do it. I'd rather just do it this way. So I've cut it about halfway through, so now it's like a regular piece of sheet metal. So now it'll bend pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and try to bend that down a little bit. And that looks like it's gonna fit pretty good. And we'll go ahead and start tacking it.
now that I got this little arch in it, the patch is going quite well. And we'll just keep going, tacking it, moving along. See what I'm doing here? I'm trying to bend, trying to hold this up and hammer it at the same time. This is pretty, this is pretty rigid stuff. So it doesn't bend easy, which is why I want to use it for this application. So I do not want the frame of my car bending easy. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. We got a little bit of a gap here. That's kind of unfortunate, but we'll have to make do. So what I'm gonna do here now is that's bouncing, and when I put a tack on it, I'm gonna hit it. Gonna fold it right in. No bulges in the fender. I didn't put any strain on it. I'll try to show you a close up view what it looks like. Okay. So this will be ground off, this extra piece here. As you see, I left it extra. You see my little curve that I got in it? So it comes, the piece is flat, which is what I want. I'm going to put my window frame in here and I want this to be flat. It is tipped a bit this way, which is good. So if any water is running off the car, it'll run down. And as you see, it sort of comes up with the fender. It goes up on that arch. It's the, uh, the quarter panel's got a big arch in it. So it comes up with that arch. And on this side, if you see the quarter panel's actually got a taper to it this way. So I followed that as best as I could. And if you look at my patch, I think when a follow welds this in, it's gonna be pretty, pretty close to the right shape. So that's how I did it. I know that, you know, scoring it and then having to dab this back up, that's kind of unfortunate, but I got no special tools to work with. I just work with what I got in the best way I know how. Uh, what we're gonna do on the inside, is as you see, this is up about a half an inch. I'm gonna slide a piece of square stock in there and I'm gonna weld it to this and I'm gonna weld it to that. And I'm gonna have a half inch square stock 
running underneath this car here, right here, welded, welded all the way along and welded all the way along this. So now if you look at that frame, I keep calling this a frame of sorts, but that is now tied to the pillar, it's tied to this, it'll be tied to this, it's becoming very strong. And I want to get all that done before I do too much. And as you see, now with that paneling done here and that, this whole section of the car is now working as one. So I'm going to go ahead and weld that up. And then I'm going to do the other side. Um, you don't need to see me do that. I'll do it the same way. What we're going to do right now though, is I'm going to show you what I got in mind for a little pillar here and how I'm gonna shape the roof. And then we're gonna look at where we're cutting this car off. So I think we'll do that now. And that'll probably be it for the video tonight. All right, so I've made this little round bar template up and I've just been playing with it and trying to bend it as best I can to make it look how I want it to look. So I'm picturing basically something like this is what I'm now looking at. So hopefully you can kind of see that and get an idea what we're trying to go for. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at doing something like that. And we'll put a small window up here. So what we're gonna do, we'll put a piece of one by one tubing here Weld to this, weld to the pillar. So now this will become a very good structure. I'm gonna roll a piece of one by one tube so that it comes here, tapers down. It also has to taper in because the back of the car is gonna sweep in. But that gives you an idea of what we're up to. So I think, I think we'll go ahead tomorrow. I'll roll a piece here. I'll roll a piece here. These will be welded to this side and that side. And I'll install the two tubes tomorrow and hopefully get the back end tacked up so that we know what we're doing for a roof. All right, everybody. We'll come back tomorrow. And I hope to have this welded, the other side in and welded. And like I said, we'll put the tube in. We'll have a look at the roof. Um, I'll show you a little bit, kind of from the back, what I'm up to with the same template. This is sort of what I'm looking at. When I'm looking at the roof, I'm sort of picturing something very similar to this. So we got, we got sort of a straight section. It's gonna be relatively straight and then it's gonna dip down and I want it to curl in. So this might even go in a little bit further. It might even go into about here. I think that would look about the best. So this here is nothing. This is just a piece of round bar that I've tacked a little piece to to hold it for me, just so it holds it at the right height. So I think tomorrow I'll roll a couple square tubes so we got something to use. And I'll put the square bar in here. I'll finish those. You guys have a great night, and I hope you come back. Thanks a lot for watching.